You're watching Drake Queen Gaming. Enjoy the video. Hey guys, Nary here from Drake Wing Gaming, so if you know me on Twitter, The Gaming Dragon. Today I'm coming back at you another Let's Play episode of Heroes Advent Raise Path. So, the last place we left off, we had, uh, let's go ahead, we went headed towards the beach. Yep, we, yeah, I just paused it right as we were heading to the beach, so we're gonna get to see Finn's new, uh, sprite and everything, so very much looking forward to that. Guys, please sit back and enjoy me, entertain you for the next 20 minutes, and let's jump right in. Alarm chain, you're up, and let's go. Okay, <clears throat> there we go. You both headed towards the beach, grabbing some meals on the go. On your way out, you saw some sort of construction going on at a part of the field in front of the guild. Here we are! Crystal Coast Beach. Oh, it's quite crowded. Always has been. Crystal Coast is well known for its pristine beach and multicolored sand. How come the sand is like this? I think it has to do with the city being in the middle of three continental plates pushing into each other. Makes sense, that's kinky. <laughs> that's, uh, kinda kinky. Well... What's kinky about rocks pushing into each other, Cassian? But, well, I... Uh, never mind that. You wanted to say something in defense, but Ray's hearty chuckle made you quite embarrassed. You walked in with Ray until you arrived at some kind of a beach hut. Finn, you there? Ray knocks on the door. There's no answer from inside. Hmm, maybe he's not here. Chair down the door and check if he's still alive. Wait here. Should we wait here in case he's around? Sure, you wait. I'm gonna go ask around for him. Maybe he's fucking someone somewhere. What? What? <laughs> anyway, stay safe. You waited for several minutes in front of the beach hut. The sound of waves splashing and seabirds from afar are really soothing. Something about this felt oddly familiar. Almost like the field trip you went back you went on you went on back in high school. The wind softly brushed against your fur, bringing with it a, a saline smell. This part of the beach is quite empty for some reason. Most of the beachgoers seemed to all gather up near the beach entrance. You waited for a little while longer before you started to feel kind of bored. The wind is also making you somewhat drowsy. Huh, should I just break in already? Open the door. Open the door. Oh no, it's gonna be a penis. You stood up and brushed the sand off your pants. I really should get some more clothes. I've been wearing the same thing for days. You grabbed the doorknob and slowly turned the handle, which easily went along as the door went ajar. Huh, it's not locked at all. Um, hello? Anyone home? You slowly peeked inside, uttering cautiously. No answer, though you can vaguely hear something moving inside one of the rooms. H hello Uh-oh. Ow! Did you get knocked the fuck out? Uh-oh. You shouldn't have done that. What if he's permanently injured or something? Nah, it's gonna be alright. Oh, they got bonked him that hard anyway. Still, what if he got a concussion? Oh, he's waking up. Uh, what happened? Ow! You can feel pain along the back of your head. Ray? Wait. What's going on here? Oh. Ooh. Well, uh, hello there. Damn. You see a shark standing beside Ray. <clears throat> Naked. Well, what? <laughs> you really should put your pants on, Finn. Look at him. He's gonna faint again any moment now. <clears throat> what kind of accent should I do for Ray? You're just exaggerating, Ray. I think he might quite like this view. Y you're naked in public. And what? Is that such a weird thing to see? Well... Your face couldn't be any redder as you tried to keep your eyes off his crotch. <laughs> all right, all right, let me fetch myself some pants. Heh, <laughs> you should. Excuse me, then, he said as he passed you by. Zoop! You stood up and brushed the sand off again. You see Ray is now wearing only his shorts. He's also holding something in his other hand. Well, sorry for that, Cassian. Uh, here, I bought you this, be this beach trunk. You can, change your sh you can change your shorts with this so it won't get too dirty. <laughs> what is this music? Change inside the house. Oh, hell yeah. You knocked on the door and asked Finn if you could borrow one of his rooms to change clothes. Finn welcomed you in and let you see use his bathroom. You can see you can see already he's wearing some kind of t some kind of tight trunks, but still makes him look a little bit naked. You quickly change your clothes and return to Ray. Oh, looks good, Cassian. I guess I picked the right size for you. I guess so. Thank you, Ray. Anytime. Heh. <laughs> 
Sorry for the wait. Name's Finn. He said as you exchanged handshakes. Sorry for the improper introduction. It's just that back at Atlantia, we rarely wear any clothes underwater, only during missions. Ah, uh, alright, it's alright. I'm Cassian, nice to meet you. <laughs> Likewise. So, what is it that you require from me, Ray? Well, yeah, about that. I was thinking maybe you can help me teach Cassian here what you know about fighting and all that. Oh, for the festival. It's quite late for that, ain't it? Nope, not for the festival. He just joined the guild recently and wants to be a mercenary. So, since you're quite experienced in combat, at least more than I do, maybe you could show him some of your techniques. And what about that Max guy? He's quite busy and I don't want to bother him. Well, combat, huh? I don't really do much fighting nowadays, though I still do train for the festival this weekend. Oh, you're entering? Yeah, I still want to beat Max and you. You're not joining? Well, I did tell Max I might join, but we'll see. Heh, <laughs> sneaky, aren't you? Well then, for starters, have you done any form of training before? Well, kinda. Hmm. He looked at Ray for a moment. Well, he did do some warm-ups with me and Max before. The shark readied himself into a stance. Well, there's no point of talking then. Hit me with everything you've got. Punch him with all your might. Ram with your buddy. Move around and punch him. Okay. You dashed beside him and threw a jab right beside his stomach. His eyes widened and we realized you were already beside him, preparing to attack. The next thing you know, you were, you were already on the sand head first. Whew! That was a close one. You taught him that, Ray? Well, maybe a little. Not bad at all. Not bad. I'm actually surprised he can move like that. He offered you a hand as you got back up. Sorry for that, Cassie. You know, reflexes and stuff. Y yeah, n no worries. <laughs> <laughs> You try to get the sand out of your mouth. God, that is one of the most awful fucking sensations in the entire world. Sand in your mouth. Oh my god, it's awful. Well, I can see the, see the training with you already made him all agile, Ray. You got this covered, man. You don't need me. Yeah, well, I still need to be sure. I mean, I focus more on my agility since I already got an indestructible body. Huh. <laughs> indestructible? The termination of the incorruptible. <laughs> it's quite soft on the inside, you know. You weren't quite sure what he meant until you noticed Ray blushing. Well, same with you, Finn. You feel quite good, especially with my ro- Oh! Ho ho ho! Huh. <laughs> As if you've ever felt it. It's quite sturdy, unlike that slit of yours, eh? One finger in and you're already moaning like a- Oh, God. You felt the wind shifting b beside you as Ray dashed behind the shark and punched him. There was quite an audible impact, but you could see the shark while stan- Still standing while holding the dragon's fist in place. A sure force from Ray's punch pushed Finn across the sand quite a bit. Heh, <laughs> that's quite a blow, though I prefer the other type of blow from you. Ray withdrew his fist and, sh and quickly dashed to, the other to his other flank and threw rapid jabs at him. The shark parried all those attacks before managing to grab both of Ray's hands. Getting all touchy-touch, eh? The shark said coyly, only to be met with Ray's smirk as he opened his mouth. Hmm, this is naughty. Finn seemed to realize something as his eyes widened. He quickly got out of the way as the dragon sent a burst of flame straight into the sea. What the- Hey, that's cheating! Finn grumbled. You're not supposed to use dragon magic here. Since when do I follow rules, huh, Finn? Well, yeah, good point. Anyways, I can get what you meant. I can teach him other techniques, though it is still up to him. Ah! Uh, you wondered if everything you've witnessed so far is real, or maybe you just got some sand in both your eyes and ears. So, what will it be, Cassian? I think for now, the basic warm-up is, is a fine start for him. It's almost lunchtime, after all. True, true. Well, shall we start, then? Ready when you are. Huh, uh, what are we doing for the basic warm-up again? We start by jogging around the beach. Two laps. Go, go, go! No, aw! Come on, Cassian, it's for your own good. Uh, all right. You hesitantly started jogging as they went ahead of you. You couldn't really keep up with our pace anyway, so you didn't mind keeping a bit of, keeping a, a bit of distance. You could notice the sun getting even higher atop your head as you could feel the heat slowly singeing your fur. Your breath also got heavier the longer you went on. Ray and Finn don't seem to be exhausted at all. You could notice them bantering quite a bit, sometimes even racing each other or even hitting each other like just earlier. Sometimes people even stared at them for how rough they are with each other. Eventually you managed to finish both laps as you flopped onto the sand. Ah! 
Great work, Cassian. Want me to get you a drink? No worries, I got it. Finn headed back inside his house. The... Oh, thanks, Ray. Oh, ah, I never thought I'd be able to do... Take a deep breath, Cassian. Deep breaths. He attempted to calm yourself down as Finn returned with a tray of drinks and some food. There you go. Help yourself to it. I'm going to get us some lunch in the meantime. All right, take your time, Finn. How are you feeling, Cassian? A, a bit better. It's still exhausted. I, I never run that much before in my life. Well, you look cute panting, you know. Sh shush, Ray. Ah, <laughs> well, here. Drink some water. He handed you an ice cold glass. Thanks, Ray. You finished the water in one go. Ah, refreshing. So, Ray. Hmm? Are you okay with Max now? Yeah, I'm okay. I thought about what you said and decided to talk it out with him. So everything is okay now? Yeah, we're gonna have to go back there to investigate, though. Ah, he said next week, right? No idea when. Max will let us know when it's time. Ah, I, I see. I I'm glad you made up. I'm glad you made up with him. Thanks, Cassian, and I'm sorry for putting you in danger. No worries, I'm safe. I'll train hard so you won't have to worry about me any longer. Heh, <laughs> well, good luck, Cassian. Thanks, Ray. Sorry for the- <laughs> sorry for the wait. Here you go, guys. My treat. Heh, <laughs> that's very generous of you. Not for you, Ray. The food's free for the new guy. Aw, oh, but I didn't bring any money. Well, you can always pay with something else. Heh, <laughs> sure, here you go, you cheap-ass fish. He tossed something in Finn. Hey, this is the most expensive ass here, you know. Not everyone gets to touch it. He gave his butt a shameless pat. And yet everyone is allowed to see it. And yet everyone is allowed to see it. <laughs> oh, well, that's true. Still, it gets everyone curious, right? Yeah, yeah. You chuckled. I still prefer Ray's, though. You can hear Ray snorting out his drink. <laughs> <laughs> you, you what now? Ray stammered as he looked at you. <laughs> that's cute. Not every day you get to see him blushing this hard. Shut up! Just take some napkins for me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You ate your lunch and rested for an hour, about an hour before preparing for your training with Finn and Ray. They offered you several options of different sets of exercises, each one supposedly increasing a different aspect of your ability. Which one will you choose? Let's do, uh, maybe, uh, let's do into, uh, agility. Uh, let's see, let's do all of them and see which one is better. You chose to do the strength exercise set. Finn taught you how to punch and jab someone properly and had you do a series of exercises with him. Your hands still hurt a lot when punching at Finn and Ray, but you feel like you could do it more properly now, at least. You exercised with them for quite some time, taking smaller breaks in between the session until the sun began to set. You slipped your usual clothes back on and put away the pants Ray gave you. All right, let's see. Endurance. You chose to do the endurance exercise set. Finn taught you how to counter and parry someone. He also ran you through a series of exercises focusing on your core, as well as showing you some defensive stance you could use to resist stronger blows. Your arms and chest hurts from blocking all those hits, but you do feel a, t a lot tougher afterwards. You exercise with them for quite some time, okay? Let's do... Agility. You chose to do the agility exercise set. Both Finn and Ray taught you how to be agile. They set up a makeshift obstacle course out of wood and sand and made you run through the whole thing. It was tough, even more so with your clumsiness, though Ray did try to give you some tips and tricks on how to get through certain obstacles. It was like jogging around the beach all over again, but you felt a lot more agile afterwards. You exercised with them for quite some time, taking smaller breaks in between. Okay, I think I'm going to do the agility. I like to have a well-rounded character. You slipped your usual clothes back on and put away the pants Ray gave you. Hmm. Well, that's all for now, I guess. Good work, Cassian. You're quite the quick learner. Thanks. Well, you're both great teachers. Nah, you're pretty great, Cassian. You managed to finish all the sets today. Thanks again for the help, Finn. We'll be back tomorrow here to do more training. Sure, I don't mind. So, you're both going back now? I guess it's I guess it's pretty late and I've had and I have to attend my garden at the I have to tend to my garden as usual. All right. Well, see you tomorrow then. See ya and thank you, Finn. You waved the shark goodbye, and Ray led you to the back, back to the guild. You soon stopped for a quick dinner at a dinner at a hawker stand in front of the guild. Ray ordered you a bowl of noodles with various toppings on top. You must try this. It's one of my favorites here. Well, it seems like you have a lot of favorite food. I just love to eat, okay? Hmm. What is it? 
Ask about Cody. Never mind. Why are you not close with Cody? Hmm. Ray suddenly stopped eating. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. It's just you both seem like you have a history together, and he likes to cook good food. So I figured you would like to eat a lot of his food. Nah, it's okay. Well, the thing is, uh, I don't know. You don't know? Yeah, at some point he just stopped talking to me, and I figured maybe he needed some space. And then what happened? Nothing happened. Things just sort of went stale between us. We no longer talk, and I just keep avoid kept avoiding him. I just don't want to bother him too much. Maybe you should talk more to him. I, I mean, ask him? Hmm. Well, maybe, but not now. You probably can tell how busy things are getting lately. And I haven't the time to do that right now. Yeah, I, I understand. Just, just take your time. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'll do just that. Now eat. The noodles are getting cold. You both ate until you're full. The noodles sure, the noodles sure are delicious. Ray sure knows where the good food is around this part. After dinner, Ray escorted you back to your room. You both arrived at the door before you knew it. Thanks for the thanks. Thanks for today, Ray. I'll see you tomorrow. Yep. Get enough rest, Cassian. You too, Ray. Good night. <laughs> Good night, Cassian. Have a little dream of me. He said with a wink before walking away. He chuckled a little before taking a deep breath and closing the door. Today was quite tiring. He took a quick shower before getting before hitting the sack. I almost read that as getting hit in the sack. You fell asleep as soon as your head hit the pillow. Are you gonna have evil dreams? You've never been here before, yet somehow the large chamber felt familiar to you. You felt like you've been here for a long time. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, spaghetti -o. Oh boy, yep, there we go. My lord, all preparations have been made. We await only your command. Good. Anything else to report? Sig Sinus wishes to send you his regards, my lord. He appears to be faring well. That's good. And Linus? Already in position, as requested. Make sure he's in... Make sure he's in prime condition for tomorrow. Do not disappoint me, Vic. As you wish, my lord. Hmm? Oh, you're here. Hmm. <laughs> Eavesdropping on others like so. And I would have thought they taught you to be better. Then again, it matters not. Once I've gotten through this wretched city, your next hero. The shattered figure let out a bellowing laugh that spattered your ears. You held your head and cowered into a corner, wondering when it'd all be over. The deafening laughter somehow became more high-pitched as time went on, before turning into the familiar ring of your alarm clock. Oh dear. Ugh! Ugh, my head! You silly sat up with a groan, looking around just to make sure it was still your room. The throbbing headache rendered you dizzy for a moment. What, what was that about? You tried to recall what you dreamt of, though most of the details have already faded from your mind. The only thing that remained was that last laugh. Hmm. You shuddered. It was the same laugh from your nightmares. You decided to stay in bed until your head got better. Afterwards, you went through your morning routines and prepared for another day with Ray. You expect to hear a knock at the door or him calling you from outside, but there are none. You decide to look for him after finishing your breakfast. Where should you look first? It's going to be the Sky Garden. That's where he's going to be. You decided to go to the Sky Garden. Maybe he's tending to his plants there. You searched all over the garden, but you couldn't find him. You decided to go back to the lobby. Training room. Oh. You decided to go to the training room. Maybe he's there training for the festival. You looked into every single available room, but you couldn't seem to find him anywhere. You decided to go back to the lobby. Alright, Alex's lab. Huh. You were about to take the elevator down to the lab when you noticed the dragon on the far side of the lobby. He was just standing there, looking outside, seemingly deep in thoughts. Jeez, must still have a lot on his mind. Uh, Ray? Huh? Oh, uh, hey, Cassian. What are you doing here? Well, you said that you were gonna, well, we were gonna meet today, right? Uh, oh, yeah, sorry. The things just have just gotten a bit, uh, much for me right now. What happened? <sighs> just got into a fight with Alex. I'm sorry to hear that, Ray. You want to talk about it? <laughs> Maybe, but, but, but not here. Let's go somewhere else first. Sure, where are we going? Hmm, somewhere more calming, if you will. 
He looked to you with a sad smile, grabbing your hand tightly as you made your way towards the Sky Garden. Once there, he led you to an empty seat on the less crowded side of the garden. You both sat down in silence for a couple of minutes. You were still holding hands with him rather tightly. Ray took a deep sigh before finally speaking up. So, you want to hear what happened? Uh, well, if you're okay with it. I don't mind, it's just a stupid fight, really. Alright guys, I'm gonna pause it right there. Um, yeah. That's been a new episode of Ray's Path, Hero's Advent, or Hero's Advent, Ray's Path. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell, and leave a super thanks to our tip if you can, it always helps. Sorry if I sound a little bit down, I got some, uh, really bad news about a friend of mine today, and, uh, I'm still processing it. Uh, I'm just gonna hope and pray for the best. But things don't look good, so... Yeah, that's, that's just how things are sometimes. But yeah, anyway guys, I love you all. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.